Now I'd like to talk uh, very briefly about two special lines and their gradients. Yeah, the gradient of horizontal and vertical lines. Okay, so I drew here a horizontal and a vertical line, and um, my experience is that students get confused: what is horizontal, what is vertical. Now you know what the horizon is. Yeah? If you look at the distance, the horizon. Well, that is horizontal. Yeah, the horizon horizontal. So what is a horizontal line? This is a horizontal line. And what is a vertical line? So that's the other one. This is a vertical line. Okay, horizontal line, vertical line. Now what about their gradient? We have said that the gradient of a line is when I am on the line, if I go one step to the right, how many steps do I go up? And the amount of steps you have to go up to be back in your line, that's the gradient. Okay, so for instance, this is a piece of paper I've used before in one of my questions, in this case, I have this red line. If I go one step to the right, yeah, I'm going minus two steps up. Yeah, you go two steps down, minus two steps up. So the gradient is minus two for this line. Okay, but how does that work now for horizontal and vertical lines? Because if I take any coordinate on my horizontal line, let's do that one first, it's the line y equals minus two, yeah, where the y coordinate is minus two everywhere you go. If I stand, for instance, here on my line, and I go one step to the right, how many steps do I go up or down to be back on my line? Indeed, zero steps. So the gradient yeah, for a horizontal line is zero. Because you go zero steps up or down. All right. Um, now the vertical line. Well, that's a little bit funny because if let's say if I stand here on my line and if I go one step to the right, how many steps do I go up to be back on my line? Well, that is going to take forever basically. Yeah, so we say that the gradient of a vertical line, yeah, so it's a special one, the gradient of a vertical line is infinite, infinite. Because it takes you an infinite amount, an endless amount of steps up to be back in your line. Now, if you truly understand what gradient is, which is if you go one step to the right, how many steps do you go up or down? Yeah, if you understand that that is, let's say, the definition of a gradient, yeah, that describes the steepness of a line, then you really don't have to remember this. Because if somebody asks me, what is the gradient of a horizontal line? And if I, and I, yeah, I'm not going to remember these things. Let me draw some axes very quickly. A horizontal line, eh, the horizon. So that's a line like this. And I remember, oh yeah, gradient. Eh? I stand on my line. I go one step to the right. How many steps do I go up or down? Well, zero. So the gradient is zero for a horizontal line. Okay. A vertical line. Somebody asks you, give me the gradient of a vertical line. Okay, let's quickly sketch a vertical line like this. Eh, gradient. I'm on my line. I go one step to the right. How many steps do I go up? Well, that's going to be an infinite amount of steps. Yeah? So do you have to remember that? Absolutely not. Because you can always reproduce that information for yourself and prove it. Okay? So the gradient of a horizontal line, zero. The gradient of a vertical line, infinite. Fantastic. Well done, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.